Okay, so what we're going to be looking at today is Kaseya's ability to do a migration readiness report. Uh, basically, what Kaseya can do is take a group of machines, uh, allow you to input some uh, resource specifications, and then give you a report based on those specifications on what machines can be upgraded and which ones need to be replaced. Um, it does also give you a rudimentary financial um, I've already logged into the Kaseya console, so what you'll want to do is log in and then uh, first go to the machine group, which you see up here on the top window, uh, and uh, identify which machine group that you want to run the report on. You can further define that by choosing the view. Uh, for example, if you said, you know, these specs are going to specifically identify workstations, you'd want to go down to the workstations and then further uh, filter your view by, by that workstation description. Uh, once that's done, then you can go to the uh, desktop management tab. Over here on the left, you see all the tabs and modules for Kaseya. So you'll go to the desktop management tab, and then you'll go to the desktop migration selection, and simply click on the migration readiness link. This will bring up a view of all the machines that you've, you've filtered by. Uh, and then at the very bottom it puts in some default uh, specs. Uh, there's currently no way to change what the default specs are for this uh, in Kaseya that I know of. Uh, so basically in this area you just want to put in what do you think are the uh, resource limitations or what, what are the recommended resources for a workstation to perform as needed for the users. Um, some, some good rules of thumb at this current state, LGR, uh, maybe a, a 4 gigahertz CPU, uh, at least 50 gigs free on the hard drive, so we'll put that in, and then, uh, and again, we're working at the bottom of the screen here, and uh, 4 gigs of RAM, we definitely want some good performance. Now, the hardware costs are, are kind of arbitrary. Uh, the, the, the replacement cost can be pretty accurate. You, know, you can figure pretty much 600 bucks for a good, uh, a decent computer. And then uh, when it says gigabytes of drive space, you know, it's not like you can take a 100 gig drive and add 50 gigs to it. More than likely you're going to replace that drive. So uh, you know, for that, you you basically just want to put in here what your cost is to put in your, your minimum drive, which these days is about a 500 gig drive, believe it or not. So you can put, say, uh, you know, put a decent uh, price in there. Maybe you get one for $79. And again, the RAM, the same thing. That's that's even a little more arbitrary because sometimes uh, it's hard to simply add RAM. You 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 can just replace it. So you can work out a formula here for the gigabytes of RAM. Uh, we basically just say, hey, you know, we're gonna if we want to go from two gigs to four gigs, uh, we're basically gonna put four gigabytes of RAM in there. So let's put you know ninety nine dollars in there for that cost. Uh, and then the backups, you can you can use that tool as well. So now once you have this information input, you go over here to the bottom right and you click save and uh, now you can name your report and it's by default it's a migration readiness report which is geared towards if you're going to migrate computers like an operating system from XP to Windows 7 you want to be able to uh, know if your machines are going to be able to, to handle those additional uh, requirements. Uh, but I, I oftentimes use this as a workstation status report. So this way I can keep keep an eye on uh, you know the, the basic performance that my users are experiencing. So uh, you can change the orientation and page size, of course. Uh, name the report whatever you want. Uh, sometimes even putting the date in there, so 3.15. And then maybe even who ran it. You know, sometimes I'll put my initials here. So then you just click OK. Now it's going to package this up, create a, a little PDF for you that you can uh, use uh, for a lot of different things. You know, you can plan an upgrade, you can do a strategic budget, and uh, say, you know, okay, I've identified 12 computers on our network that need to be upgraded or replaced, so we're going to have a 12 month plan. And there you see it created the PDF. So we're going to create a 12 month plan to work within the budget in our accounting department. Uh, in order to get these replaced. 
So that's basic not only for a, a migration, but do a status check. I mean, you may be upgrading from office team, uh, and that requires resources. So that's not necessarily a migration, it's more of an upgrade, and you might re uh, call that report the um, office upgrade report you need to replace. So this is a good it's a good tool to kind of evaluate the status of your entire network and you can do the same thing on servers. The reason I like to specify a report difference between workstations and servers is obviously uh, there's going to be quite a different uh, level of um, specification resources that you require on each of those platforms. So uh, again thank you and I uh, hope that this helps you run the report.